Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to look into NiceHash's latest update and we're going to see if it's uh, any more profitable than the previous one. See you in a bit. Alright guys, real quick before we go on, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got a couple videos coming out every week, uh, speculative coin mining, updates on different miners, a little bit of trading, things of that nature. Um, so do that real quick. Also, intro to win video for Bitcoin Fridays will be out tomorrow. So you need to be subscribed and hit that notification bell for that. Um, also, hammer those likes, I'd appreciate it. Helps get this video out to as many people as possible. All right, so NiceHash, they just came out with an update um, yesterday, June 3rd, NiceHash Miner Legacy version 1.9.0.23. Uh, looks like they just updated the Claymore uh, Miner to 14.5, G Miner to 1.45, and TT Miner to 2.2.5. So that's about all they did. So. All you're going to have to do is click download right here and it'll take you over to their GitHub. And click on this link right here and that'll download it. So I've already done that and put it in my miners folder. And I put it under nice hash if I'm not mistaken. So let's scroll down. There we go. So just unzip it. Extract all, put it back in the folder. Here we go. So then we're going to scroll down all the way to here. And here's Nice Hash Miner Legacy. Click running away. Let's make it a little laggy. Log in with Nice Hash. So is that 4M? to the three, is that correct? All right. So all it's gonna do is download all these miners and then it's gonna run through its um, benchmark and everything else. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Benchmarking will just, you know, take whatever cards you got on your computer or mining rig and see what the best algorithm and best miner for that particular algorithm is. So I've already got this done on my NVIDIA rig. So here we are, nice hash folder. And there's the old version, 1.9.22, and the new version I just downloaded today. So what we're gonna do to see which one is better, let's pull up the um, older version. Let me stop this real quick. Let me just, all right, so version.22, let's go into here. Let's scroll down a bit. There we go, let's double click on that. I've already done all the benchmarks on it just to save time here on both of the versions. So should be able to just log right in and start. It won't benchmark everything, at least in my case, you'll see right here, it's got like two versions out of like, uh, two versions of a miner that just will not benchmark, but I'm not too concerned about it. So I just click no and it'll pull up and start mining. We'll give that a little bit of a second, I guess, to see what it actually gets up to. I did a small test on it earlier, and this version got up to $2.67. This rig has got the 21660 Ti's, the 1070 Ti, and the 1066 gig. So it looks like right now we've got the 1660 Ti's doing Raven, 1070 is doing Grin, and the 1060 is doing MTP sitting at two dollars 84 cents right now 293 so we'll let that run for a second um i don't know if you guys have noticed but uh, the market kind of took another dump again today so as long as the market or at least bitcoin stays above 7k i'll keep doing bitcoin fridays um, but once it drops below that i'm gonna have to postpone it again i think it's dropped uh, what about a thousand dollars here in the last week or so if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around in there. 
So 257, this one clicks on and off for whatever reason, my 1060. It, it's like the sides, it's nice to have, it's like just trying hard time deciding whether it's going to use MTP or not. So I think 322, look at that. 330, it's not bad at all, not bad. All right, so that's three dollars thirty cents on this. We got seven cents on the CPU, a dollar ninety-five on the sixteen sixty Ti's, seventy-nine cents on the ten seventy, and fifty-two cents on that ten sixty-six gig. So three thirty-one is as high as it's gotten. Three twenty-eight. So what I'm going to do three twenty-four. It's kind of hard to get it to level out because it. It's constantly updating 268 there goes the 1060 again drops off don't know why it does that I've rebooted the rig so I don't think it's really the card I think it just like I said the whatever algorithm they use to decide what what coin to mine at any given time it'll just switch on and off so I think it got as high as 330 sitting at 305 right now so let me go ahead and stop this so that was dot two two so now the latest version, dot two three, is supposed to have the updated miners for Claymore, which is a th Ethereum, Ethereum Classic stuff like that. And I think one of them was. Let me go down here. G miner. That's going to be yeah, probably going to be that for Grincoin and TT miner. Don't really use TT miner. So here's. Dot two three. So let me click on this. Again, I've already run all the benchmarks, so it should be ready to go. Except for two. If it does this, just click. You can click yes if you want, and it'll try and benchmark that. But it's usually either one or two. It won't benchmark, so let's just hit stop. For whatever reason, it won't benchmark that algorithm. At least in my case. If this pops up, just click allow access. It's just a um, looks like a T Rex miner is popping up. So I'll let that go for a bit. It's already at 307. So 1660 Ti's looks like they are on Raven again, and 1070 and the 1060 are on Grin, sitting at 307. The other one spiked up to 330, but it didn't really stay there. So I think it was averaging about 305 on the other one. So I'll let that run for a little bit. So yeah, the market. I'm hoping, but I, I was just watching the uh, Da Vinci J15 video and Eminem Crypto, and they're thinking it could possibly go down to 6100, which I hope it doesn't do that because if it does, I'll have to postpone Bitcoin Fridays, like I said. But that would suck. So this is staying solid 307, 308 now, going up a little bit. So the latest version, 310, it looks like it might be a couple cents cheaper. I mean, a couple cents better as far as uh, profitability. 313, slowly climbing. Yeah, that other one that spiked up to 330 was just a fluke, I guess. But this is slowly building to that, so... It's looking like maybe this new version is a little bit better. 318. 319. I'll give it a little bit more time. Um, here's my dashboard. Let me hit refresh. See if I'm still logged in or not. <coughs> logged in. I don't know. Anyway, does anyone else notice this? If you're not um, mining with NiceHash, your wallet will go away. And I'll click on wallet and it'll say I've got no balance at all. But once the miner is running, it'll show me the balance. Does anyone else uh, run into that? And anyone uh, know why it does that? Answer down below if you could. I'd uh, be interested to know why it does that. 327. What did the other one got up to 330? 331 it spiked up to. And then it dropped back down real quick. See, this one is not staying going to MTP, so maybe the old version didn't have the updated miners, so it's dropping down and trying to get on MTP, and maybe that might be a memory 
intensive type algorithm so maybe that's why I was dropping on and off I only got a four gig of RAM on that rig so we'll see all right so looking at 326 327 so that's not bad the, the other one was averaging probably around 305 to 310 somewhere in that range that little spike was a fluke I'm guessing so this is anywhere from 10 to 15 cents as of right now you got to let it run of course over a longer period of time but initially it looks like it's 10 to 15 cents more per day on at least on my mining rig so what would that be let me see if I can pull that up real quick 3.10 divided by 3.28 so we're looking at about 6% increase as far as profits so that's not too bad okay guys I guess that's going to be it for today's video uh, again be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell below I'd appreciate it Bitcoin Friday's enter to win video is tomorrow so you don't want to miss that um, be on the lookout for that video. If you liked that video, this video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.